Each one of us has watched this relationship grow from something small and fresh to a love that is deep and lasting and impactful. Nathan and Lauren met at Springwell Bible Camp years and years ago. They were the best of friends at the time. They were part of a close-knit group of campers who laughed together and hung out together and grew in faith together. They remained friends throughout the years and pretty much talked consistently whether they were at camp or not. But in 2020, they started talking even more, working to keep their friendship healthy. At this point, Nathan was stationed in New York while Lauren was at IU studying exercise science. In 2021, Nathan came home for leave from the military and that close-knit group of friends that I was talking about earlier, they decided to go to the Kentucky State Fair. They had a great time there. And as Nathan and Lauren drove back home on the bridge between Kentucky and Indiana, Lauren looked over and saw fireworks shooting off in the distance. She watched out the window at the fireworks and as she watched, Nathan looked over at her and he rolled down the windows and turned on the music so that they could hear the fireworks. And Lauren said at this point, these are her words, not mine, it's almost as if you read my mind. And it was at this point that Lauren realized that their friendship might be transforming into something else entirely. They continued talking more and growing their relationship, and in July of 2021, Nathan's mom invited Lauren to a concert, which they consider their first date. I'm just saying, if your mom invites your girl to your first date, <laughs> it's a pretty good sign. It was an ABBA concert, and they had a fun time together with Nathan's parents. And after this date, Nathan went back to his base in New York until October for her birthday, and it was around this time that Nathan decided he wanted to marry Lauren. He called up Lauren's parents to ask him for her hand in marriage, and they knew he would probably be asking them this soon, so before he even got the full question out of his mouth, her father replied, the answer is yes. Nathan and Lauren went to an art museum in Syracuse where he got down on one knee and asked her to be his wife, and she said yes. And the rest is pretty much history. Can we go first? Sure. Okay. I don't want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to go first? I'll go first. Okay. I promise to be your best friend and wife. I promise to honor, love, and cherish you on all our adventures together. I know no matter where we go, you'll be my home. You are such a light, and I promise to keep you bright, lift you up, and support you. Over the years, you've been by my side and have seen me grow. I can't wait for us to grow together. I'll love you always, cowboy. Lauren, since we first met, you've been my best friend. You were one of the very few constants I had through the years. Even before our relationship started, you unknowingly challenged me to live as a godly man. Uh, now, as your husband, uh, that calling is stronger. I promise to never take away from myself, but to give more than ever before as I guide you and our children through Christ. I promise to always be present to your needs and support you through hardships. I promise to share with you all of my joys and happiness. I love you in a way that words can never describe. I've loved you for so long as a friend, and now I promise to love you forever as my partner in life. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Nathan, you may kiss your brother.
As mentioned earlier, camp is something that's been very close to both the couple's heart, but also my own. I remember when Lauren and Nathan met at camp for the first time, and I knew there was something everlasting there. And of course, when I told Lauren, she continued to laugh in my face. A couple years later, though, I decided to mention the same thing again, and she seemed to laugh a little less. The next thing I know, she calls me while I'm in New York over the summer, and I'm pretty sure it was after the fair, and she told me she thinks she might be in love with Nathan, her partner, her best friend, her Prince Charming. You are both amazing, joyful people and friends who bring sunshine to everybody's lives. May your marriage grow and blossom with giggles, tears, pain, memories, friendship, joy, and love. first time that we did meet, um, you know, Luke had mentioned, it was at an ABBA concert up at Connor Prairie. Um, they weren't dating yet, officially, <laughs> but I swear that Nathan prompted her and taught her, because all the questions I asked of Lauren, music, movies, books, she got them all right. <laughs> knew instantly when he brought Lauren there that weekend it was like yeah we knew this was the one we knew it was just a matter of time so you guys are gonna have just a phenomenal time together um, we are so happy Lauren to have you as part of our family um, you brought so much joy to Nathan I mean he's a different man when he is with you when you guys are together it's just you guys are perfect